In this video, we're gonna fix a low pressure line on a Honda Pilot. We'll see that a flare on the end of the metal is very important. Where the metal and the rubber tube meet, this connection's gotta be secure. Sometimes a clamp is not enough. You need a flare on the end of the pipe. And there's a couple different clamps you can use. Here you can see when we pull this pipe off, it's smooth on both sides. We'll clean it up to get a little closer look. You can see this one's not even round, it's crushed a little bit around the end. With the back end of a drill bit, we'll round this back out. Now that it's round, we'll put a little flare on the end. This flare will help hold the hose in place. It'll help grip to the hose. There's a couple different types of clamps you can use. This is a high pressure clamp. A box of these are about four to five dollars. I prefer to use a clamp like this because they are designed for high pressure, even if it is a low pressure line. It's like a little added insurance. And that little flare is like added insurance. It'll be harder for that tube to come out with that flare on it. The pipe we're using is nickel copper. Regular steel line will rust, this won't. A little more expensive, but well worth it because it won't rust. You can see there's no power steering fluid at all in the reservoir. Hondas do require a different power steering fluid. It's gotta say Honda. You don't need Honda Genuine, but it does have to say Honda. To fill the system back up, it'll take 1.2 quarts. That's three of these 12 ounce bottles. Pour some in, start the car, move the steering wheel, work it in. And check for leaks, make sure there's no drips. Keep adding in the fluid, keep working it in with the steering wheel. Now everything's working like it should. As you work in the fluid, you'll see the fluid level stabilize. Once you've got everything topped off, just keep checking for leaks. I usually give it about five or 10 minutes just to make sure. If the engine's running, be careful of moving parts. We'll put some cardboard underneath the car just to keep an eye on it. Put the wheel back on and torque it to 80 foot-pounds. Drive the car and re-torque it to 80. Give it a good drive around the block and make sure everything's in good shape. There's a few tips on low pressure lines.